Wow, I want to show you this fish. It's beautiful and uh, juicy. Look how soft is this fish. Wow, this, this is amazing. Watch, watch. watch. Mm. Look in this video. I'm gonna show you how to cook this fish. Baked in the oven and in the char grill. And um, I'm gonna show you everything. So watch the video all through. This is a lemon sole. And I'll show you how to clean the lemon sole in this way. Okay? Okay. You will enjoy the video. And uh, keep watching, keep watching. Mm. Amazing. Hi, my friend. Here is me talking. Unfortunately, the audio was very bad. The microphone was uh, bad. I don't know what's happened. Anyway, this is this was the beginning of the video, and uh, I was very happy to show you what uh, we can do. Here is me that I'm going outside to take the lemon sole that uh, is four kilo, and. Uh, the barbecue is ready and also I'm going to show you two ways to cook this, this sole. So anyway, the, the lemon sole was outside in a bucket of water, washed, and now I'm taking, I'm taking it, as uh, you can see, it's there, boom! Four kilo lemon sole bought uh, uh, from Calum, the fishmonger that is in Burnt Island, and uh, that, uh, here we go, this is the time that uh, I'm going to to clean this uh, this lemon sole and uh, it was a beautiful amazing fish fresh and uh, in incredible and um, what I'm going to show you now where uh, to start here we go when I when you start to, to clean a, a fish like this, you need a very sharp knife, okay? And uh, I didn't add a, a very strong scissor. I didn't add a very strong scissor. What I'm doing, uh, I'm taking off the fin in this way with, uh, with this knife that uh, was um, sharp. Sharp, but not enough. So I, I need uh, another knife. And uh, here <laughs> I was... Uh, I was telling you that I was looking for another knife. H here also I prepared the pot where uh, to, to put the trimmings of the fish, all um, the fin of the fish, because with the fin from a, a fish like this, that they are very big, we are going to do a beautiful uh, fish stock. What I'm using is a celery, white onion, celery, white onion, and um, as you can see, I show you that I'm going to put a white onion in, uh, in the pot, the pot that is back to me. The celery is already in, I have put um, olive oil in the pot, you see, and now I show you, I've got celery, I've got, um, and, and I'm going to roast them in, uh, in, in the pot, and also I'm going to and this this onion this onion is gonna outside uh, in um, in the barbecue because when I'm going to when I'm going to plate that dish I want to eat um, a roast a roasted onion as well so the um, half onion went uh, in uh, the pot to do the fish stock and uh, half onion was in the barbecue in the fish stock I'm going to add rosemary and also I'm going to add um, garlic okay you smash the garlic and you put the garlic with uh, with the skin you don't need to clean uh, the garlic roast uh, the vegetables nicely okay and then then you start and you put the fin of the fish as well
Now it's important that you add, uh, after that you have roasted the vegetables a bit no, for 5-6 minutes, they, have bec they become a bit brown, you add water and uh, what I'm going to do is leeks, I'm going to add some leeks as well and the skin of a, lo uh, of a lemon. Um, you, you will see that I'm adding a skin of a lemon and you add just water and you don't add any kind of stock from the eastern industry, any, anything, okay? Just natural, we are going to use natural product, okay? Okay, so all the things go to do the stock, okay? Everything, any little pieces, everything, don't throw away anything in the stock. These pieces here, I don't know how you call them, so where there is the stomach, this is an amazing part, very, very tasty. There there is meat, where there is the stomach, okay? That, that part is edible and is very, very tasty. So that is gonna be eaten. That do doesn't go in the stock, okay? Where there is the belly. Where there is the belly, that doesn't go in the stock. Here I put the skin of uh, the lemon in uh, the fish stock. Okay, and this is very tasty. The fish stock will be amazing. Here we go. Now I start uh, to cut the fish, to clean the fish, okay? And soon I'll introduce from another angle, much, much better. Okay, stay with me and I will show you everything. Okay, now I've got my camera here and um, as you can see, you, you, can, you start uh, from uh, the, the middle bone, okay? And uh, with this kind of knife, it's very easy, it's more easy, not very easy, but it's more easy than other knife. Here, as you can see, you can you, you start to, to take off the meat from the bones, okay? And uh, as you can see, yeah, I show you, this, this knife is uh, amazing for this job. You can see how the meat is coming off. Yes, you take your time Okay, the first time, take your time and uh, just make sure that you go through the bones. With uh, this kind of knife, it's more easy than other knife. Okay, make sure you see how, how I work. I work through the bone. If it's uh, the first time, take your time, just take your time. I see how my cut is perfect. The bones are clean from uh, the meat. You see how, how I'm working perfect. But I made thousands of fish in fish and uh, meat in my life. So, and, uh, and, and you see also is, is uh, still not uh, even so easy. <laughs> take your time. Take your time, but you see, when, when you buy a fish like this, even if you have a big family, or a small family, sorry, a small family, you, you buy a big fish like this, and then you freeze, uh, you freeze what you don't use on the day, and you save money, because you buy a whole fish. You don't buy just one portion, no? You buy the whole fish, and then, uh, and then you freeze uh, what you don't use. Okay, so here, you see here we have uh, our first big uh, piece of uh, this uh, beautiful... Okay, the first, uh, the first beautiful stack is gone. And uh, now, now we go with uh, the other one. Okay, look, uh, no, no meat left, okay? Use everything. The, this fish, I paid this fish 10 pounds per kilo, so... Look how beautiful, like this, okay, yes, good, like this. So just work the knife. 
get the knife sharp ok get the knife sharp and work the knife work the knife get the knife sharp let the knife work let the knife work look how beautiful is coming take your time take your time and you you will have a beautiful amazing steak out of uh, this fish look i show you you see this kind of knife this is beautiful stay stay along the bones okay keep the knife along the bones and let the knife run through the bones like this good And look at how beautiful piece of meat look how beautiful piece of meat beautiful Hey, you see the head here so don't throw away your head it's full of meat okay they, well look how beautiful piece of meat this this piece of fish will go into the oven this will go into the oven so look how beautiful this we this was the first part okay beautiful and now you start again now you start again from the other side okay so what uh, i forgot because i need to record the camera I, I, I got all this worry about the audio i forgot to take the skills off uh, from the skin so if you want to enjoy to eat uh, the skin of the fish and uh, take off the skills you see the, all the scales of uh, the, the fish uh, with uh, with your knife like this Now wash uh, your board because you have all your scales all around, okay, because we are going to cook that fish. Wash your board and also wash uh, your fish too, okay, from the scales. And uh, as you see, I'm going to wash it. Sorry, but I, I was taking from so many problems this day, audio and uh, the stream life didn't work and uh, so many, many problems. And anyway, I think the, the video is good. You can understand what uh, you need to do. And finally, we have uh, our bones. No, now these bones, you know where they go? They go to do the stock. They go in the pot, like this. You don't need to roast them. We want gentle flavor. Okay, gentle flavors. Don't roast the bones. And uh, there is uh, still uh, some piece of meat. You put just your bones into the pot. Okay. Put your bones into the pot and uh, with uh, all the other flavor and uh, i'm not going to add uh, any more water the water that is there is enough and you see that if you can smell there was so beautiful flavor uh, fresh f uh, vegetables uh, this uh, fish amazing it was amazing beautiful 
so now we have this beautiful fish and uh, we are prepping our way to cook cook it okay so one uh, one part uh, we go i show you how to do to go in the oven with uh, one part and uh, another we go in, on the barbecue i choose to cook the head of the fish in the oven so as um, you can see i'm going to put the head uh, in the tray on the cooker there is a uh, an uh, a pan, a, a pan, fr a fry pan with the uh, oil inside. Okay, I'm choosing this uh, this uh, piece of uh, of fish. This one, it goes in the oven. What I'm doing and now is um, go uh, to put it on the on the on the pan. Okay, I'm going to put it on the pan and uh, because i'm thinking all the time i'm thinking on um, people um, gluten free what i'm going to use uh, is uh, polenta flour so you see i'm going to use polenta flour on the skin of the fish and i'm not cutting the fish okay because i i want you see the pan is hot polenta flour on the skin of the fish and what I really want is to keep all the flavor and all the moist all the moist inside of the fish inside of the meat there are a lot of chefs that uh, are cutting the back you see are cutting the back of the fish don't do that just it takes a little bit more time but you will have a more moist and juicy fish but because this chef they need to work in restaurant and also is a, a nice to see this cut okay you are going to lose uh, uh, more juice from the meat of the fish and also this oil is, is gonna be through the meat you don't want that you want a beautiful piece of uh, fish juicy you want a juicy fish so put your um, polenta flour on the skin okay now we go with the this uh, other piece on the barbecue on the barbecue i've got already my onion you see is uh, is already beautiful brown and your skin with your polenta flour on the barbecue okay and um, let's go what i'm doing well okay i'm washing my hand yes okay washing my hand and what I want to do I don't remember and uh, look I, I I'm alone okay try to do video cooking and uh, give you try to give you the max uh, energy beautiful energy that uh, that I can it's difficult difficult also I'm adding a nice tomato on uh, on this barbecue and uh, I'm going to, to put some oil with rosemary and garlic. This is oil, rosemary and garlic. And uh, the tomato will be amazing, beautiful. Yes, so here we go. On the grill. Beautiful tomato, oil and garlic. And um, as you can see, this door, there is this uh, black, um, t uh, um, th this black board is uh, I'm trying to fix the light uh, for this kitchen that is not still good I don't like this light anyway this is um, the the first fish that w was on the pan now it, it, it looks hard but it, it is not uh, I can show you that is beautiful look eh? look how beautiful is coming very very nicely look eh? look eh? Bam! Look how beautiful is uh, this skin. Nice and crispy. Okay, now I'm going in the oven. Okay, I'm going to put this piece of fish. Beautiful. Let me put the pan down. And uh, the fish in the oven. And uh, I'm going to put on top this uh, beautiful olive oil okay that is not born it was there just for a few minutes i'm going to put on top few capers i love capers in this kind of food and then what i'm going to put is oil rosemary and garlic 
okay oil rosemary and garlic and uh, go in the oven okay now i'm prepping the salad okay i'm prepping the salad for uh, for this fish because it's uh, in few minutes in few minutes we are going to eat this beautiful piece of fish so what i want in this salad i want a mediterranean flavor i want lemon i want capers i want basil i love this basil in uh, this kind of food and uh, i've got rocket and i've got uh, red onion i don't know what you think about red onion but i love it i love in the salad fresh salad and uh, rocket and what I'm doing here, I've got some spring onion and uh, what I'm doing, I'm going to uh, put them in the pan, in the same pan when I cook the f where I cook the fish and I want them make brown so they, they will go as a decoration but oh, they also will be very nice to eat uh, with uh, my salad Okay, so I've got uh, got my salad. Okay, I'm starting my salad. My and I put some rosemary, some flavor, rosemary flavor, with uh, the fish that is in the oven already. And I put some flavor of rosemary in with uh, the spring onion and even in the salad. So rosemary is always good, beautiful, beautifully Mediterranean flavor okay let's see how it goes our fish let's see how it goes our fish here and um, yes so what um, what I'm going to do now I start uh, to to flavor yeah the, the tomato is uh, is ready yeah tomato is ready okay so turn the tomato in this way it will be not overcooked and and there I've got fresh olive oil extra virgin olive oil I've got uh, my uh, garlic and uh, rosemary okay and I'm going to flavor my fish the here we go and uh, don't worry about the flame because uh, the skin this there is the skin okay and uh, look how beautiful look how beautiful skin I've got there okay and I show you now look how beautiful is this fish and uh, what I'm going to do the, the onion is not ready the onion is not ready so I'm going to put the fish um, away from the flame okay and uh, we are going to cook it slowly we are going to cook it slowly Let's see what's happened to the fish that uh, is in the oven. This fish is uh, more thinner than the other one and uh, it uh, will be ready. Oh, let's remember. Oh, no, it's, it's good. It's ready. The fish is, uh, is ready. Yeah, because it's thinner and also it went in the oven that it was uh, on, uh, on the pan. So what I'm going to do now, I'll plate it, okay, and I went uh, to take one tomato, yeah, so I'm going to plate uh, this dish. As you can see, we have a beautiful roasted tomato from the barbecue, we have this beautiful salad, fresh salad, with uh, our olive oil lemon and we have this beautiful fish look at this beautiful fish with uh, rosemary and capers and olive oil with uh, the skin you remember the skin we put um, the polenta flower in the bottom the skin is nice the, the head of the fish is not ready but this doesn't matter and uh, this for you is not you know and uh, so the other the of the fish uh, go back in the oven so uh, on uh, this fish we are going to put in this dish this beautiful uh, look at this beautiful uh, spring onion roasted in the pan you see is uh, how beautiful uh, is uh, be become and tasty and I don't know if you can imagine no if you can imagine to eat uh, this uh, beautiful fish 
with this fresh salad and then you have uh, the roasted tomato and then uh, you have uh, this uh, spring onion uh, for me it's it's amazing it's just amazing and then a s with this a squeeze of lemon and fresh peppers with this this uh, will be super tasty super tasty i have eaten this fish <laughs> it's super tasty man Okay, let's go, let's go to take uh, the other fish that is on the barbecue, okay, and um, is, the, is here, so I'm already, this, this was the fish, this is the fish that was on the barbecue, look how beautiful, beautiful this fish is, is. wow, it's amazing, beautiful, look how beautiful piece of fish, amazing, nice and crispy okay good on top of your beautiful salad and here we go we have our salad the spring onion we have the tomato we have this beautiful piece of fish cooked on the barbecue okay this one was on the barbecue the light i'm sorry the light is uh, in the studio is not the best i need to find uh, I, I need to work on this uh, light and uh, this roast uh, onion the peppers and the olive oil this dish it is uh, amazing and uh, fresh basil and this uh, beautiful fresh basil and uh, wow this this dish is just gorgeous and uh, here we go let's let's come come in come 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 let's go finish here we go this beautiful barbecue lemon sole with this fresh salad everything nice and fresh and uh, here mm. i eat it mm. wow i want to show you this fish it's beautiful and uh, juice look how soft is this fish wow this, this is amazing watch what this video okay man now my friend now is uh, I show you what to do with the stock okay in one hour the stock is ready I already start uh, to take off uh, some bones and look at beautiful look at the stock yellow thick this is all natural with okay and uh, yeah there is no no a lot but it's enough to flavor another dish maybe it will be a tagliatelle with king prawns and cherry tomato a nice beautiful homemade tagliatelle and i think i'm going to do a, a dish like that look at this beautiful if you can smell this this uh, stock it's amazing and here i show you how to vac pack without uh, vac pack machine okay your uh, fish you can do it with meat and you can do it with vegetable. You take a, a pot of water, take your fish, put your fish in this kind of... You see this pack here? These plastic bags here? These are very strong. If you have these bags in your country, these are amazing. You put your fish in there. Okay. If you want, you can put your fish with flavor. You can add flavor, rosemary, anything you want, olive oil. And uh, keep... Uh, the top of the bag out of the water and uh, immerse the fish okay and keep uh, keep uh, you see the the red the the orange the, the where uh, you need to seal the the the, the fish yeah keep uh, on the edge of the water okay and start uh, to seal the bag in this way you have uh, vac pack your fish without vac pack machine look at this technique you have you are saving 100 pound or more in a vac pack machine
Okay, my friend. So your uh, plastic bag backpack is done. Dry off uh, with a cloth. Okay, take off the water from the outside, and now take a tray, put in the tray a baking pa uh, parchment paper, and brush the bra the parchment paper with uh, olive oil. Then take your pieces of uh, fish, and you can do with the meat as well this job. Okay, take the pieces of fish and put the pieces of fish into the dish okay and wrap the dish with uh, clean film when uh, is uh, wrapped with clean film stick uh, it in freezer and uh, the day after don't wait too much don't wait maybe a couple of days but so w soon as uh, the fish is uh, hard and frozen take a food bag okay take a food bag bag and put all the pieces into your food bag in this way you save space and when you want one or two pieces you can take them off from your plastic bag you understand what i mean so now you see i put uh, my clean film on top because i don't want to spread the smell of fish in the freezer okay so put uh, this uh, clean film around i don't want to smell all the freezer of fish tomorrow when it's cool when it's frozen you transfer these pieces into a plastic bag and then you can take off uh, one piece at a time when you want okay enjoy and thank you for watching man Hi, my Thank friend. you. I just finished to edit this video. It was a long day, but I'm happy. I think uh, you have understand everything. The fish was amazing in, uh, in the barbecue, juicy, beautifully in the oven as well. So I'm very happy with uh, the result. I, I hope uh, that uh, you have enjoyed the, the video. And uh, if you want to help me to grow my channel, if you want like it, share it and subscribe, I will put a lot of beautiful content in the future and I will try to be helpful much as I can. All my knowledge, I will try to put all my knowledge in that channel. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, have a lovely day. Ciao, Giuseppe.